How have you learned to adapt when things have not worked out as planned? Learning to fail well is probably the hardest lesson to learn in life and in a career. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot out there written about you know learning to fail fast and you know learning from your mistakes, uh, and it's and it's become kind of hackneyed in some some ways where people you know talk about you know the the, the success of failure, you know, all of these these types of things. You know, Edison made you know 300 light bulbs before he came up with the one that worked. That that sort of thing, um, and that's true. Uh, but you know, there's there's, a, there's also a lot of responsibility that if, if you know you don't make your goal, if you don't meet the expectation that someone set of you, there's a lot of explaining to do. Um, particularly when you know people put a lot of faith in you to do what what you want to do. So it's uh, what, you, what you said you were going to do. So um, you know, adapting to failure. Uh, I think there's a couple elements of it. One, it comes back to expectations uh, and being able to communicate, you know, the risk that is inherent in the projects that you're trying to accomplish. And so, um, uh, so when you're working with with a boss or you're working with, you know, a donor uh, in the nonprofit world that I'm in, um, you know, you try to handicap it the best you can in terms of, you know, we got a 50% chance this is going to work, or we got a, you know, and, and, and here's here's the things that could go wrong and, and that might go wrong. So trying to understand that process. The other part of it is really truly uh, doing the postmortem on um, on why the failure happened. You know, and are there lessons to learn from it? What what is it that could have been done differently that you didn't do? Uh, how much of it was external? You know, no matter how well you plan, uh, there were some external forces that that were there were at play here. And how much of it was you know we just didn't prepare the right way, uh, which I guess is related to that first point of you know what could we have done differently. But it's um, it's doing that proper postmortem and trying to do it as detached from the emotion as you can, um, and so maybe that is sort of the, the learning to fail, learning to fail fast, and the importance of, of, of failure. But um, I'm also understanding that it's inevitable. Uh, you know, as I as I get more experience and, and the more work that I do, you know, you're not always going to get an A. You know, sometimes you're gonna sometimes you're gonna fail. Uh, the the important thing really is to uh, to understand why. And, and, and try to make it better next time. And also understand that you're going to fail again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's part of the process. Uh, and, and being okay, uh, you know, sort of professionally with that and also being okay psychologically with that. Uh, and I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. 